and welcome to another episode on how to make money selling silage today um, we're starting off down at the port where we've got the buy grass by hay point at Sussex farm now to make silage you need grass or chaff which grass we can just pull straight out of here which is what I've been doing what I did is I've done about 35 loads and that gives us just over 2 million in the silo so let's go over to biogas where we've started all this off so well obviously on some of most of the other maps you haven't got a grass buy point um, so you're not going to be able to do this straight away but at Sussex Farm we can so it is something when you start you can start making money from biogas especially waiting for the demand to creep up because um, at the moment it's not much money it's uh, 298 pounds a litre they're asking now we've got grass in the trailer as soon as you tip this it will become chaff and it will turn a different colour I'll let it go the light green so I'll bring this up to here and what I do to do a nice line of it I will engage cruise control 2 mile an hour and it will tip it should tip just a nice line yeah just like that oh it's coming out of the grain door that's the other thing you need to check because as it's coming out of the grain door it's only doing half as much so if we go on to the help window which we'll turn that on in a minute anyway so we've got just over two million in chaff uh close yeah see tip side door grain door we want tip back see that because that took half the load out there so what we do we reverse back up cruise control two mile an hour yeah there it is see it's coming out a nice thick line as wide as the trailer which is what you want so on this silo at the moment in order for us to sell silage we need to make some silage so um, well first order of business if we come out to over here right so we will come over to where I'm actually cutting some grass at the moment we've got the two so I've got two forage harvesters uh, I've got the crone and the New Holland and they both got mower attachments on the front so we're just going to pick up the grass off these two fields was it G4 and G5 and basically that's that's another way of generating grass to, which as soon as you put the bunker it will turn to, ch to chaff which you can turn into silage um, if you do it make it out of corn it turns into chaff straight away so off the grass you don't get a massive yield um, it was about 9,000 litres a pass I think it was finding now this is the way I used, I've been doing this for years where I just put a trailer on the back and then I'll bring another one and just change it which was a pain because you have to stop change trailers reverse up and all that malarkey so now I've totally forgot about these trailers now you might not have seen these these trailers here these are sugarcane trailers but the advantage is they can tip directly out into another trailer so it means that he will fill up with silage as soon as he's full I can pull alongside empty into this one and then he's away again off he goes simple as that 
Oh, I've got a bit close. He wants to put it into there. Typical. I didn't want any in there. I didn't mind. One of that empty. Okay, so that's the second. So the first way of getting the grass for the, the silage is just to go over and buy it and do the trailer runs, which it did take me. I did 35, 36 runs for that. It did take a couple of hours, but you know it's done. There's two million, over two million in the bunker now. So that's that one. Right, if we head over to here. currently got some corn set up we've got two more forage harvesters going on the corn at the moment now using these forage harvesters for corn you do need a different head header um, basically you see it is actually a corn header and when you you can't really mix and match with the heads for these forage harvesters for instance if you use the New Holland one on the crone then you can't steer and it does have, have adverse side effects so stick with the right header for the right equipment and it should be okay now off the corn we're doing one sort of one line coming up and that's generating nearly uh it was nearly fifty thousand i think it is you can see at the moment he's uh he's half full i've linked these two two up now when you link them up you can link these two traders together the ones with a built-in dolly that hooks onto the back of the normal trader which which i put a dolly on um but basically you can only link two together um, I don't know why it just doesn't like the middle attachment there it, it doesn't like to take a normal dolly it only likes to use the original trailer and then when you look on the back of this trailer there is no hitch so it is you can just have this trailer and that trailer jobs are good in well, it's a little bit glitchy around here at the moment I, I think it might be the amount of equipment what is over here Right, we're going up to. I've got another one working away over here. I'll we'll drive through the crops. A bit naughty, never mind. Right, and we will go. I'll show you how these trailers unload. Oh, but I've currently got a little bit of grass in there. Something like that, eh? He must be nearly full. Yep, there he is, he's full. So when he's full, we will jump in and stop him. Leave up there a minute. Oh, that was a little bit glitchy there. And these trailers tip to the left. So you're always coming in on the left hand side. I just absolutely love this. I save so much time on unloading now. Pull alongside, jump into the forage harvester. Oh, and then, whoa, click the trailer down the bottom there. And we can tip straight in. Look at that, it tips all the way up. Straight out, no messing about. look at that beautiful that's a full trailer and now we can just leave him to carry on we can move out of the way and he will continue which is brilliant now with these forage harvesters we can use um that this trailer I'll 
I'll actually show you which one it is. It's in the sugar, go into sugar cane harvesting, and then you scroll along, and these are the trailers what tip into other trailers. You've got the Colossus there, Massive Ferguson, and then the sugar, random they are. You basically can have one, if you use that one on the back, which hasn't got a hitch on the back, so you can only hitch, hitch something on the front of that one, and you can link that up to your semi, and so you can carry, um, what are they, yeah, 66,500. So it's a fairly decent load, they're good trailers. Um, hang on, let's go back. But you can see there what actually you can use, what it fills. There we go, sugarcane, straw, silage, wood chips, chaff, grass, and hay, which is cool. Right, so let's get back to helper F is blocked by an object. They can deal with that. What we want to do is get back to the silo. Because as you're loading a solo in, it needs to be compacted. So I have compacted it down quite a lot. They're still going away, are they? Yep, they're still working. Oh, oh jackknife. Pay attention. Right, so here we are leave that there we're going to jump in the t8 now i put these rollers on the front and back and they work pretty well they're worlds of water uh, uh you fill them with water sorry extend that one that's why on the bottom there it's showing that there's water in them because the water is added weight now all we have to do is, if you've got weights on the front one on the back, lower them down, lower that one down. We will put it on the help window so we can see compacting level is at 20, uh, 94%. And all we do is just keep driving up and down. It's the first time I've used this T8 for this job and it's performed brilliant. It's going to get stuck now, you wait and see. Ninety seven. Now, before I got these rollers out, um, I totally forgot all about them. I was just driving up and down, and it was taking forever. These rollers make a huge, huge difference. You can see we're already up, we're at 99% now. So what we've done, I've rolled up a, a few times, and that's it, compacting 100%. Right, so we can actually blanket the silo. If we jump out, walk over to the silo, there it is, L3 blanket silo. And there it is. Right, we're going to wait for that to fer ferment and I'll be back shortly see you in a bit that's all the fermenting done it's on a hundred percent so we're gonna open the silo and it does open in strips oh it doesn't but it used to open in strips I think it opens when we fill it so we got two million two hundred and thirteen thousand now I brought a truck up to uh, go and sell some because firstly I'd like to sell um, at a different 
place because at the moment there was a demand before I did the fast forward time for the fermenting process and it was at 428 at biogas and now it's gone up to 544 now I want to see if we can get that up higher whereas at the moment the one of the highest ones is at the airport at 431 and you've got the marina at 529 so an import export is just right in the corner so what we're going to do is uh, load up let's take off that menu help window I brought a loader up I'm using the Lieb Air and I've got the front bucket is 1100 11, 500 or 600 um, I'll show you that in a minute with the once we've got this counterweight the counterweight makes the stability awesome right these are the mods here go to the mod hub under the tool category you've got art mechanic back weight there it is you can use it for the tele handler and the front loader and there's the front loader bucket um, which is what is it yeah 11,500 capacity which is a great bucket right so we're gonna jump in now I think this is the quickest, easiest way to load a trailer. We've got 70,000. He says that didn't pick up much very well. We've got 70,000, so it should only be. Don't spell it out. Right, here we go. Yeah. What is going on here today? Let's get the wheels down. Right, let's pick it up. Ten thousand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not tip the trailer over. Right, let's get this bucket lined up a bit better this time. Pick that up. Come on. There we go. See with this cane to weight on the back, you can just uh, reverse up and not worry about toppling especially with the twin wheels on the front right let's see if we can get a better bucket this time go slower maybe give it a little wiggle Nearly, come on. There we go. That's a bit better. So it's got to be at the right angle and then it'll fill up straight away. That looks quite good. Yeah, that's the way. Oh, it should only be a couple more.
Yep, yeah, that's it, all full. Right, so we want to head, we got 70,000 litres to sell. And the best price at the moment um, is at the marina. Well, our best price is at biogas, but we don't want to sell that. We want them to give us a little bit more money. Uh, there's two million in the uh, bunker there, so really you don't want to sell it for less than 600 each. Right, over to the marina first. There's the tip point. Right, so the price at the marina is still 429. So let's sell half that. What do I do? Just over half. 17,000 plus another, so it was about 18 odd grand. Yes, yeah, that's about right. You're getting 529 per 500 uh, per thousand litres. So the price for that has that changed? Yes, the marina price has just gone down a bit. So we'll go over to import export and dump off the rest there. And hopefully this will encourage the price of biogas. There's a tip symbol. Sixteen thousand. Okay, so we're not going to make loads of money selling it like that as the price gone down. Import export, it still stayed the same. So I think what, we, what we're going to do is just fast forward time while I take this back. It's great demand, Sherwood stables for grass. Oh, I knew that was going to clip that all right let's have a look back on the prices yeah the marina now the price of that is going down but clean biogas is staying firm Okay, so let's just go and drop a bit into the biogas anyway, because that's the main going to be the main money maker. Yeah, that's a full bucket. So we're talking eleven thousand. So we should get um, over what six grand a bucket. Thing when you're feeding it into here as well is that it doesn't take it all at once you start tipping it in and then everything starts moving and then see oh it has taken a lot this time I think it takes about 20,000 there 6,262 now the price on that yeah it's just dropped down so the best thing to do with that to keep the price movement is to bring some conveyors down and as soon as you've got a decent price, hit start the conveyors up and the conveyors will just keep filling that up and you won't lose the cost, uh, the price for it. The price will still stay the same unless you get a gap, if there's a break in the flow. So I'm going to do another video on that, on how to build a silage stack and selling with the conveyors. So there you have it. 
let's uh, slow down time again actually before and look at the prices yeah so import exports gone down the marina has gone down because they've had some biogas plant is still at 544 uh, so not that's the demand for that isn't going to go down at the moment so so you could just fill up traders load it like that um, unload it sorry like that like that or do you use conveyors I think the easiest way is using conveyors okay that's how you make money selling silage till the next time goodbye